about it looks like the uh, ongoing drought has brought fall a little early, even though we have frost to speak of. Oh, bear. Watch the lens. Come on, Cindy. Trying to scare the ducks away. Ooh, I haven't been back here for a while. There we go. Ducks. There go the ducks. Okay. Yes, I know we haven't been back here in a long time, eh? <sighs> I tried late this spring. I think about June. But then coming out I had to uh, literally collapse and pass out. So I decided it was too much strain. I'm just keeping up and bringing you guys back to last summer, 2011. And as you can see, all, all the deciduous died off. From the pesticides they put on the roadside and then probably that evening, flush flooded into, well, into this pond. panoramic of some fall shots. Starting to turn. Like I say, mostly it's because it's been too dry. Okay, Bear, what are you doing? Well, I've got to sit down and have a rest. I'll just do a little more of the fall colors. Focus, damn it. Yeah, take the autofocus off and problems are much better. Ah, oh, falls are so nice and dependably dry out here. Just beautiful. Spring and fall. Best time to be in the southern Okanagan. As mild of a winter as we have and short. By Canadian standards. Under scorchingly dry and hot summers. Well, there you go. Yeah, we'll have a rest and hey, stay here, guys. And if the ducks show up, well, we'll let you know. Sayonara. Yeah, and to end this leaf color changing chlorosis fall day. Last trip. This little bugger just to run away to beat the band as though we had found a spring or a dead mouse or something under there to snack on. Hey, hold still, please. How's that for a Puna bud? Uh, that might be Echinacea. Both above it. Kind of daisy like. Hey, don't pull! It's 
such beautiful stuff. The desert. And I mean, look, growing in the middle of the road on what? It's been so dry. It's been like. A couple little splashes of rain in 90 days. And even the cactus is shriveling. I'm sorry, I'm not cactus in the Time. Enjoyed fall in the southern Okanagan. An extra dry fall. Not the driest for sure. Not the hottest, but extra dry. This is with a water table about eh, probably about seven feet down. Pines seem to have not overstressed themselves when they went reproduction well there. But the first Fukushima followed in 2011 spring. Well, there you go. Thanks for coming for a dog walk. Kintry's Bluff. South Okanagan, BC.